Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nicole and today is my birthday! Also, I dyed my hair! Yay! Anyway, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit deeper because as I'm turning 21, I want to share with you 21 things that I learned at 21. The amount of times I said 21. Isa pa, 21. <laughs> Without further ado, let's jump into the first lesson. First thing that I've learned in my 21 years of existence is dependency on God. Everyone has their own religions and I'm completely fine with that. I'm not gonna discriminate or gonna tell you to convert into my religion or something like that. Depending on God means that when you have a certain struggle you're facing in your life right now ask him for strength ask him what you should do and just talk to him having a relationship with god is something that i really 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 treasure i'm not saying that if you have a problem just pray to god and everything will disappear everything will be fine everything will fall into place no it's not like that what i'm saying is that you should trust in him that he will not give you challenges if it's not necessary he will not give you struggles just because he's bored or just because trip niya or something like that but he gives you struggles because he wants you to depend on him he wants you to come closer to him second thing i've learned is progress is progress no matter how small the first time i applied this saying into my life was when I started working out because when you're working out you want your unwanted stuff to be gone in an instant to be gone overnight but it doesn't work that way and it's really frustrating to see yourself in the mirror every day not seeing any progress right away you may not notice any big progress going on every day but as you look back a year from now you will notice the change the third thing that i have learned is that it is okay to ask for help if you are like me and when you have problems you don't want to disturb people you don't want to ask people for help because you think that they have their own problems you don't want to bother them and etc etc but one of the reasons why we have family and friends is because they are there to help us as the classic saying goes no man is an island and it's completely okay to ask for help it doesn't make you any weaker it doesn't make you any stronger if you don't ask for help sometimes it's nice to receive advice from someone who's outside of the situation because sometimes those people who are outside of the situation can see your situation in a much bigger scale and in a much unbiased scale. Fourth thing that I've learned is that bad experiences aren't unnecessary, are not unnecessary. Like I said a while ago, God does not give us struggles dahil trip niya lang or bored lang siya. But bad experiences are there so that we will learn. If we are always happy, we don't really learn as much as we do when we're sad or when we're having a bad experience. So yeah, bad experiences aren't unnecessary. Number five, growing up sometimes means growing apart. In life, there are certain people who stay and those people are to be cherished. But there are also people that come and leave lessons. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Every person in your life that passes by does not leave your life without leaving a lesson. And as painful as it may be to grow apart with friends or family who have seen you through your worst and who has been with you through good times and bad times, if they are too toxic, let them go. But I want to put it this way. If you love someone, let them grow. Sabi nga nila, pag nakita ka daw ng flowers sa garden, na maganda, 
don't pick it up because it will stop growing. A flower will only grow if it's rooted into where it's meant to be and it will not grow if you keep it for yourself. So, Number six, you do you. Sobrang daming haters out there. Yes, famous. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think everyone goes through times when people are telling them that no, you can't do this or why, why are you doing this or there are better things that you can do than what you're doing right now. But let me tell you, if you have something you want to do, just as long as it glorifies God and it does not um, step or hurt anyone, then by all means, go do it. If it makes you happy, go do it. The problem with the world today is that it revolves around money. And yeah, it's practical to look for a job that pays high or a job that pays decent. But what I always hear from other people and what I believe in is if you're doing something that you don't want to do every day just so you can have money, then it's not really worth it. Do something that makes you happy every day. Do something that makes you excited to go to work. Do something that makes you excited to go to school. And you will find that there's really things that money cannot buy. Number seven, taking care of yourself is more than just the physical aspect. Yes, it is highly encouraged for us to work out and to eat healthy. Not because we want to be sexy or macho or whatnot, but because we have to take care of ourselves. But it is more than that. Taking care of yourself means taking care of your hygiene, taking care of your mental health, taking care of your relationships, taking care of your future. Self-love is so, so important because without self-love, you can't really give out as much love as you're capable of to other people and to other things and I encourage everyone to love themselves. If something does not make you happy, cut it out of your life. It's that easy. Number eight is something that a friend of mine has told me and ever since then it has been stuck with me and it is that truth is greater than feelings. I know you know who you are, kung sino nagsabi sa akin. Tago na natin sa pangalan na Anna Mamangun. <laughs> Hi! So I was ranting about something and she told me this, that truth is greater than feelings. And I was like, what, uh, what do you mean? I will not be feeling this way if I have not been made to feel this way by other people or by other things. And she was like, no, that is how you feel. And your feelings are very valid. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay to get hurt or to get tampo. But you know what the truth is. And the truth is that God looks at you so highly and that He sees you as someone so precious. So you should not let anyone tell you otherwise and from that day on I was like I'm God's princess no one can tell me otherwise number nine the only way to overcome insecurity is to love yourself like what I said earlier self-love is so important and for the longest time I was so so insecure and I was so unsure of myself. I always doubted myself. I always thought that people would be happier if I was not here. It is normal for teens to feel insecure or even grown-ups and kids to feel insecure. One thing you should do is to accept the things you can't change and change the things you can't accept. If you have flaws that are way beyond your control, Love them! The only person that will love them is yourself and the people who truly see your worth. If you can control these flaws, then by all means, if it makes you happier, go. Just make sure to not go overboard. If you cannot change your flaws, then accept them for what they are or try to improve it. Number 10, do not open up to everyone. Keep your life low-key and private. Now, I'm not saying that you should not 
tell anyone about your problems, but don't spill out everything to everyone. There are some people who mask concern with the truth that they only want to get chismes. <laughs> you gotta make sure that before you open up to someone, this person is someone that you can fully trust and you know that will not judge you. Number 11, if you want to do something, go do it. Sabi ko kanina, as long as it does not hurt anyone, as long as hindi kayo nananapak ng ibang tao, and as long as it glorifies God, if it makes you happy, go do it. There will be a lot of discriminations, there will be a lot of disappointments, a lot of challenges, a lot of struggles, a lot of failures, but the only real failure that you will ever face is that if you stop trying. So do not stop trying, keep doing what you love to do, and keep finding things you can improve on. Number 12, what other people think of you is not something that defines you. I know that there are a lot of people who is so careful on their actions because they're so scared of what other people will think. But the reality is the things that people say about you does not reflect who you are but it reflects who they are. Now, I'm not saying that completely ignore everything that other people are saying. Sometimes, makinig yun kayo kasi baka meron din silang sinasabi na ito pala yung thing na kailangan mo i-improve or pwede mong i-improve. Pero yun nga, you have to filter it and you have to distinguish which ones you will accept as cons... as... what do you call that? Criticism that builds you up? I never forgot the thing. Constructive criticism? and that are just meant to hurt you. Number 13 is something that I learned in college and it is that every decision counts. Even the small decisions do count. You make a decision to cut classes rather than to attend your classes, then that decision will count because that's one absent and each absent, if you reach a certain amount of absence, then you will be FA or drop and you missed your lesson and you failed the subject due to absences and then you will have to retake that subject and maybe the subject na yon would be the cause of your delay in your graduation and you delay ka ng graduation you may delay ka din ng paghanap mo ng work and then may delay ka din ng pagbuild ng career mo and then may asawa ka na may anak ka na and parang hinahabol mo pa rin yung weldo na sana nakuha mo before pa. So yun, every decision is like a chain to a much bigger picture. Yes! <laughs> you can't come guess niyo, pero kawan yun. <laughs> Number 14, putting others first is a big reward. Yes, I know that I said na self-love is important and all that. I still stick to that principle. Pero minsan kasi, you also have to put others first, especially your loved ones, your cherished friends, your family, even some people who are not close to you or some people who you don't even know. Because it's very rewarding for you to do something na makapagpasaya sa ibang tao. Even if it's something that will cost you or even if it's something that na maliit lang. And it doesn't even have to be a big thing. You don't even have to spend money just to make other people happy. Making others happy does not require um, a big effort. It only requires a big heart. Number 15, just because everyone is doing it does not mean it is okay. Most of the time when people correct other people, minsan ang sagot nila is, It's normal day, come on guys, it's 2017. What you should understand is that this world is a scarred world. This world is disastrous. This world is not perfect. And sometimes the things that are normal for other people or normal for the society is something that is not beneficial to you spiritually, physically, mentally, and quite ano ali. Sometimes kids are getting pressured to do the things na hindi naman morally correct and hindi hindi rin nila na isep ng gagawin pala nila. 
once your friend tells you na gawin mo to, KJ mo naman pag di mo ginawa, di ka na namin friend pag di mo to ginawa, and you know in your heart that this thing is bad or this thing is harmful, then friend, hindi siya true friend. That is the sad truth. In a world where everyone is going with the flow, be unique and go against the flow. Number 16, the golden rule. Do not do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Every time you make a decision, always think, is this something that I want others to do to me? Is this something that will make God happy? Is this something that will make me happy or will make others happy? If it's not these three things, then don't do it or don't say it. Number 17, sometimes things are better left unsaid. If you have nothing good to say, then better just keep it to yourself. Number 18, don't revolve your life around one person or one thing. Our life is consisted of many aspects and dapat all of those aspects are balanced. If one aspect becomes heavier than all the other aspects and if you're focused in this one aspect alone then the rest of your life will crumble down girls guys parents teenagers kids adults please do not revolve your life around someone or something your life is so much more than just one thing so much more than just one person number 19 you cannot change people. I've had to learn this lesson the hard way. I'm always one who is to point out someone else's mistakes out of love. I've always been the kind of person that will be straightforward to you and say that this is the thing you do that I don't like or this is the thing you do that I think you can improve on. But then what I realized, what God made me realize is that I can't change people. I can like talk to them all I want, I can confront them all I want, I can even get mad at them all I want, but if they do not want to change, they will not change. The only one who can make a person's heart change is the one who created human hearts. Also side note, just because you have something to improve on doesn't mean that you're a bad person. All I'm saying is that if you know someone who can improve on something, don't don't push them to what they can do because every everyone grows differently at different times, at different paces. And the best thing we can do about these struggling people is not to be harsh to them, but to just love them and be patient with them and pray for them. Number 20, you will lose friends. As sad as it is, that is the reality of life. I just noticed now, when we're younger, we tend to focus on our friends. We tend to classify ourselves as happy when we have a lot of friends which is in some cases true but most of the time it isn't because for me the smaller your circle is the happier you will be as i said earlier there are some people who stay and by all means those people are to be cherished but some people just come in your life pass by and leave but they do leave lessons so if you have lost friends or you feel like you're drifting apart from your friends then do not worry because whatever is happening is for the best i am sure and last but not the least number 21 always be thankful no matter what your circumstances are i have heard a lot of people call me negative or a pessimist and i was like you know what maybe i am <laughs> But once I realized that, yeah, I am a negative thinker and it is a bad habit of mine, I asked God what I should do and how I can improve on being 
a positive person from being a negative person. And honestly, I know so many people who are like, oh my gosh, I'm such a negative thinker. I overthink all the time, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you guys, don't lose hope because what um, I did and what I realized is that when you're going through good times, it's easy to say thank you. Sobrang sayo mo pa nga pag nag-pray ka, tapos nag-thank you ka. As in like, thank you Lord God, love na love mo talaga ako. But when it comes to bad times, instead of thanking God, we will always say, bakit ako? Why me? And I learned that that mindset is very toxic and it does not help anything or anyone. Instead of dwelling in negativity and negative thoughts, find something positive in something negative. I know it's hard to do that, especially if you're like overflowing with emotions and you're really in pain and you're really hurting. But I assure you there is always, always something positive in a negative thing it's easy to say i trust you god and i put my life in your hands but when you're faced with struggles and when you're faced with tough times your i trust you lord becomes bakit mo ko ginaganito lord and that attitude is something that we should all get rid of we should all have an attitude for gratitude <laughs> always thank him because we know because you know in your heart, you're confident in your heart that the struggle you're facing right now is only God's way to get you closer to Him. So yeah, that is it for this video. This video got real deep, real fast. I hope you enjoyed it even though it's not really my type of video content. But if you have learned something, please give this video a big gold thumbs up. Leave a comment below of one of your biggest life lessons. Do not forget to subscribe and click on the little notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you will get notified every time I upload a video. But okay lang din pa nyo. Okay lang. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!